This video is brought to you by the Corsair Vengeance K70 and K95. These fully mechanical keyboards are designed for performance gaming. Visit Corsair.com slash Vengeance Gaming to learn more. Welcome to my unbagging of something that I personally think is really important and really interesting, but you might disagree. But I mean, come on, at this point, you clicked on the video. You might as well watch it, right? This is the creatively named Seagate Desktop SSHD 2000 gigabyte. Really, like whoever names their products, uh, they get an award for being very practical. Um, so what it is, is it is their first desktop hybrid drive. So it contains, in spite of its normal three and a half inch form factor and normal SATA 3, six gigabit per second interface, a regular mechanical three and a half inch drive. So it's available in one terabyte or two terabyte, although there a little birdie told me there might be a, a higher capacity one later. Although saying that there might be a higher capacity hard drive later is about like saying the sun might rise like they really are about the same probability because if the sun stopped rising, then all the hard drives would probably go away anyway. Um, so it contains a mechanical hard drive as well as an SSD inside that completely doesn't need to be configured at all. So the eight gig SSD, and that seems pretty small, but more on that in a moment, dynamically finds the data that you use most often and caches it in there for much, much faster reads. Now there's a little bit of a writing strategy as well, but not nearly to the same extent as it uses the SSD for reads, which is really important, particularly for things like your operating system. So if you're getting used to devices like smartphones and tablets and even ultrabooks to a lesser extent that run strictly off of flash, you're probably getting used to a level of responsiveness that just can't be achieved through pure mechanical. And that's where the SSD comes in. So even though it's quite small, you're able to cache the things that are going to make your system feel really responsive, but you're able to have that large capacity backup for things like large games that you want to install or large programs like, I don't know, you know Adobe Suite or, or things like that. And it really does give sort of the best of both worlds. In addition to performance, you're also going to potentially make the device last longer. So there's a few different ways of looking at this. Number one is you're adding more points of failure when you have uh, SSD as well as mechanical. Number two, though, is that you're making them inherently last longer because SSDs don't like being written to. Eventually, they will die. Um, but what happens is because you're not always writing things directly to the SSD, you're actually writing to the hard drive, the SSD only gets written to when it's something that you use very, very frequently. And SSDs don't get worn out by reading from them. Okay, then there's the mechanical drive. That gets worn out about equally from reading and writing. So you have to write it to it regardless. But what if you could read all of your most frequently used data from the SSD, which doesn't really wear out, see where I'm going with this. So you could potentially get a longevity benefit as well. Now this implementation is not the be all and end all of a hybrid solution. So if you have two separate drives, you can use Intel SRT to use an SSD to cache a hard drive completely separately. And there are actually drives being manufactured with a single interface that have two separately addressable drives inside them. This is one of the benefits of SATA 3, six gigabit per second right? Because you've got tons of bandwidth there as long as you're not talking about extremely high performance like enthusiast grade SSDs. There are other implementations as well. I mean, Microsoft's working on ways to have the OS handle some of the SSD caching itself. And Intel, um, Seagate, and Western Digital worked on an extension to the SATA 3 IO that is going to allow the drives themselves, which really do know more about what's going on inside them than the OS necessarily does, to start providing hints to the OS about what to cache and when and where. So the future is extremely exciting. And I believe that as much as I use solid state only in my desktop machines, I do use mechanical for mass storage over the network. So as much as I believe in solid state and love it, I do believe that a hybrid is going to be the future, at least for the near to mid term. So guys, do check this out. It's the Seagate Desktop SSHD, the most interesting name ever. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to Lions Tech Tips for unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Leave a like if you like the video, leave a dislike if you dislike the video, and leave a comment if you think my nose is too big for my face.